Okay, so this is um, Lost Fortune part one, two, three, four. I kind of lost track here. But let me go back to this, this output to the screen right here. Uh, the last paragraph. The party was about to give up all hope, but while laying the deceased to rest, they stumble upon the buried fortune. So the adventurer split the 900 gold pieces. Dawson held on to the extra four pieces to keep things fair in the course. So you realize this 900 is the constant that we were looking at. The Dawson is the string variable leader that you got to output. But take a look at this, extra four. How do I calculate that four? Now, here's what I, I really want to dwell on is, is because your processor mo does not calculate remainder. That's your remainder part with this thing. All right. So, so that's my point is whatever the input that they put in that's left over, that's the survivor, you have to take the number of survivor and you mod it to what? The gold piece mod the number of survivors. That will give you the leftover piece that the leader could keep. Okay. So my point in saying is this, is when you come across and doing this, uh, just be that I that I would everything is output like we said. Here's the gold piece. Here's the constant that actually comes across is the gold piece. All right. And here is the variable that you're going to put in gold piece parentheses survivor. All right, so that that is that will give you the four. All right, so that's how you do this thing. Now, if I save this thing, I make sure I save it. Control S saves it. Control F five is to compile it. Okay, so it, it prompts me for a number. I'm going to type in a number, let's say 12, type in 5, type in my last name. Oop, goes to happen. That isn't, that's not supposed to happen, is it? But it's supposed to remain up here. I might have put a return uh, next line on here, this thing. So it, gave, it gives me the output, and you know, again, the resolution, and this is a little, I need to put a, a, a line between here and, a, and, 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 and take out that line up there with it. So let's do that. Okay. So making sure what it matches what we just looked at. Coming up here, prompt the user's name. What happened? Read in this right. Read in. See out. Enter your name. Leader. All right. So let's take a look at this thing. Okay, it doesn't look like there's there. It doesn't take it to the next line. I just compile again, and it works just fine with it. What we need to do is fix the space between our first paragraph and our second paragraph with it. So if you notice that uh, there is a there should be after the output this right here, right? So all I need to do is what? What's another way of putting a line here? It is to put in line right here. Okay. So um, is that right? Along the way. No, 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 wrong one. Sorry. Along the way. So let me do that. Okay. Uh, it's this one right here. So I uh, it didn't take this because I had a quote right there uh, with it. So it should, it should have taken it. Let me see here. Um, leader Dawson backslash N or HDMI. Okay. Troy at five. So give it a number um, twelve five. Thou. It's still not compiling, right? Let's see here. Oh, I know. It's not picking up along the way. That's what it is. Right here. So what we should have done was a new line right here, right? So just do backslash n right here, right before it. So here it is. So it, it should display it to the way how I have it on to this right here. Okay. All right. Um, 
So if you were doing this, let's say you were doing this as my project with this thing, what do you do? You would actually take this thing right here, Control Alt F five, uh, print screen, all right, take a snapshot of that, and you would actually come over to here, to this assignment right here, and you would scroll down to the bottom, in this last, and you would paste that right there, okay? So, um, just to have a matching to see what I'm asking for is to do this with as well. Cool? All right.